Okay, so this is station three for a clear blue lab. We're gonna take an ionic compound here, copper two sulfate pentahydrate. I'm gonna use a scoopula here to scoop up a pea-sized amount of this copper two sulfate. We're gonna be first putting it inside a test tube here. Uh, notice that the nice blue uh, coloration that it is right now. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna strike the Bunsen burner here, use the heat from the Bunsen burner to try to evaporate off some of the water, and then we're going to just make some observations. Again, for this station here in particular, I want you to focus on whether this uh, meets the criteria that we need for an equilibrium system here, uh, compared to what we've learned in the chapter so far. As I heat this up here, remember when we heat things over a Bunsen burner, you don't want to be uh, pointing the open end towards yourself. Uh, try to point it slightly ajar away from yourself here. Keep the test tube moving, so you try to evenly distribute the heat here. And again, what we're trying to look for here is what's happening to that blue powder as the heat evaporates off some of the water. I have this Bunsen burner here on uh, the blue flame setting here. Uh, so that's going to be the hotter uh, flame. Uh, sometimes, especially if you use an orange flame here, you might develop some soot on the outside of the test tube here. Uh, what you would do is you would need to uh, wipe down some of that soot so you can focus on what's happening to the powder itself. So. Just heating it there, so definitely losing that blue coloration there. We're actually maybe even charring a little bit of the powder. Okay. So there we go. Again, I'm just going to take it off the heat source here. I'm just going to hold it in the air for about a minute or two here just so that it can cool down. We'll turn off the Bunsen burner while we're waiting here. Uh, you can think about sort of what reaction has happened there. And then what we're going to do once this is cooled down is we're going to add some water. As you add water here, we're going to focus on mainly what happens to this powder. This powder here is soluble, so it actually will end up making a solution. I want us to focus on immediately before that solution happens, what happens to these uh, solid uh, chunks here. So again, just waiting for this to cool down a little bit. You notice I'm holding this test tube here with the test tube clamp, you definitely don't want to be holding it on with your um, just bare fingers over the Bunsen burner. So this will probably still be a little bit hot, okay? But once it's cooled down a bit here, again, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna take some water from the squirt bottle, and then we're going to just see what happens to the powder uh, before it actually becomes a solution. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. So hopefully you can see what happens uh, to the powder. Okay. Thanks guys.